All right, homies, in this video, we'll review a couple of portfolios. These were sent to me via LinkedIn by a couple of uh, developers, by, I assume, subscribers. I will absolutely roast them, but I will roast them with compassion because uh, I want these guys to actually be successful. And uh, if you didn't know, your projects, your portfolio are pretty much the biggest leverage that you can have when it comes to landing the first developer job. So if your portfolio sucks, if your projects suck, then uh, you will not be able to land the first developer job, no matter how much you're trying, no matter how much uh, you are wishing for it, no matter how many videos you're watching on this subject, you will not get a job if your portfolio is not impressive and uh, if you do not spend the time, the energy and the effort into making the best looking and the most functional projects that you can uh, actually uh, develop, I guess. So let's get into it. the first one is from Dave. I'm gonna give him a couple of uh, props uh, to begin with. I like the fact that he actually spent some cash to buy a domain. A lot of people do not even bother with buying a domain for their projects. Nothing screams more of uh, I'm, a, I'm an amateur developer like having something like Henry over here who didn't even bother buying his own domain. But again, we'll roast Henry in a bit. I also like the fact that this portfolio looks pretty good. So I think Dave bought a template. I'm not sure, but even if he did, uh, I think the fact that he spent the money to invest into himself, it's amazing. A lot of people do not do that. They have some shitty, ugly ass portfolios that look like absolute dog shit. And um, he actually went the extra mile and I, I am gonna give him some props. If he designed this, I'm gonna give him even more props. So I like the fact that he's very minimalistic looking. Again, there is nothing more to say about this, but let's actually look into the projects. So we have an e-commerce website. Let's actually, um, I think I would like to be able to click on this image and go to the project or I can click on view project. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Uh, these images are quite uh, low quality. Maybe you can steal images from another uh, website that are higher quality because they look quite bad. Uh, the website looks cheap because of this. So the design of this website is pretty good, but the pictures make the website look cheap. So I highly recommend you to steal better images from somewhere else. Now let's actually look at uh, product. I'm not sure why I see this flash. Maybe you should handle it with some loading screen, I assume that would. Uh... Okay. I would make this disappear when I'm um, uh, going on this page on the checkout. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is pretty basic. So it looks good, but it's pretty basic. I have seen many e-commerce websites before, and this is one of the better looking ones, but the functionality is not there. So if I would go with the e-commerce website thing, I think I would try to, you know, see what another e-commerce website does. So one in Poland is Zalando. <clears throat> And if we just look at this, we can come up with dozens and dozens and dozens of features that we can add to our application to, to make it a bit more impactful. Because again, this is very basic. There is, there is not much happening here, you know, uh, some basic filters. We see this uh, jumpy uh, divs and whatnot. So I would say this is a decent project, but it's not impressive from the point of view of like, wow, this was hard to make. That's kind of how I would judge this. Now let's look at uh, this one, Fire, a music and venue booking site. Let's have a look. This doesn't exist. That's not great, mate. And then we have Image Resizer. Let's have a look at this. I have to insert an image. Okay, so this is the image. Let's make it 400 by 800. I think you should be able to detect the the natural width and height of the image and then insert it in here. But let's see what this does. Okay, so this project is 
too simple to be taken in consideration if that makes sense um but uh, i think he's on the right track again if any of you have seen any of my videos i always recommend to you to build a project that takes you more than a couple of hours to make i know that maybe this took some time for him but they are not so impressive this is like basic work and in 2025 if you guys want to stand out you need to have more than just basic work you need to be ready to be hired and these projects are not showing that you are ready to be hired so i'm not sure exactly in what stage of their job search these guys are but i would definitely tell them to stay a bit longer on the bench and train a bit harder and build some more complex projects now let's look at henry uh this image looks like trash uh he's trying to be very luxurious with the colors and with the font and whatever but this pixelated image is not uh, helping him sell himself in my opinion let's have a look at uh, the projects or let's look at the services first basic website package $500 mid-tier website package again I'm not gonna get into this let's look at uh, flash movers probably this is for a client uh, okay this is a website I'm not sure if he wants to become a developer or a website designer because these two things are totally different. This doesn't look like a luxury website, but whatever. And uh, yeah, these are websites. So here's the deal. What you guys need to understand. There is a difference between building websites and building applications. So both of these fields of work are using the same technologies HTML CSS and JavaScript to a certain extent obviously but the thing is what you do with these technologies is totally different so what we see here for example this top real estate development website it's a website it's made to convert a stranger into a paid customer that's kind of how it works what an application allows you to interact with data to create data to update data to delete data to view data in a specific way so you can make business decisions for example or to message someone or to organize certain things uh, there is some business logic that happens on the back end there is a database involved there are api calls involved there is a lot of code that has to be written there are a bunch of features that have to be created etc etc and that's kind of the difference so what is really important for you the viewer of this video is to know what you want to become do you want to become a website designer or a web developer or a programmer because if you want to become a website designer you need to focus on marketing and sales that should be 80 percent of your work and 20 percent actually building the website while if you want to become a developer you need to focus 100 percent on the skills that you learn or the skills that you have to learn to develop applications so algorithms uh, understanding the browser api understanding what is an api call understanding algorithms etc etc understanding databases understanding scaling things of that nature so there are two different fields of work and you guys need to be aware of this because otherwise you will be like henry making websites like this and you'll apply to web development jobs and nobody's gonna want you because you do not have the skills that people are looking for it's like a, it's not the right match it might look like people are unfair to you and bad to you and mean and whatever you might be there out there you might be out there judging them for not giving you a shot but in reality you are qualified for a different type of job and you are applying to a different field of work and you guys need to be aware of this otherwise you will not get hired it's as simple as that so i hope this video uh was interesting for you i hope you learned a couple of things definitely uh, these guys, uh, especially Dave here, has a lot of potential, I would say. I, was, I would rate him higher than Henry, in my opinion, because he at least tried creating some sort of applications. But um, they both have a lot of work to do in terms of like developing their skill sets and uh, actually, you know, becoming uh, valuable enough for the job market. So if you want to be able to build applications and build them the right way without wasting your time with without wasting 
hundreds and hundreds of hours of research on YouTube, on LinkedIn and whatever, then click on the first link in the description and apply for the mentorship program that I have created. I have pretty much solved all your problems. All you have to do is do the work and you will get hired and that is guaranteed, okay? So click on the link in the description, apply and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.